everyone, it's Dems151 here and welcome to Project Cars. But mainly today I'll be showing off the Project Cars app. It's called the P it's called the P Cars Profiler. Now the P Cars Profiler, all this is is basically information about your car. Maybe you wanna go that tenth quicker in qualifying to get that extra position, maybe pole position, or maybe you wanna go that lap further or that lap further into a race or Maybe that get that extra position, maybe a podium or a win in a race, uh, but you can't do it on just your your skill alone. You need a little bit of tweaking of the car, and you don't know what to do. Well, this gives you the information you need to improve what you're doing. So, as you can see on the little screen in the top right hand. Uh, corner of the screen is uh, you can see project cars itself but on the main screen you can see this Pro uh, this is PCAR's profiler it is free to download I'll put it in the uh, description below obviously you can donate to the publisher and that and it's, it's, it's really good it's really impressive so you've got all your indicators here you can add different ones so on here you've got session information fuel management times and stuff like that indicators all the different types uh, and then you've got graphs this will change this section here but the main ones I normally go for and that that's just saying it's recorded at the time of the when you start the game you need to click the little symbol up here which means it's connected connected to the game if I click it again it'll disconnect from the game but it's currently recording because project cars is on and waiting for me to go uh, the ones I tend to have up you've got your laps here so it'll give you all like, your lap times throughout the session it'll tell you what session it is what track it is uh whether it's good lap a dirty lap improve lap and stuff like that uh then i've got fuel management so this will tell me how much fuel i've got how much fuel i've used how much fuel on average i'm using per lap how much i'll use the last lap and then if you're in a race it'll tell you how many laps left worth of fuel you've got and then the current lap obviously that'll count up as you're going around and then you've got the lap timing so you've got your current your last your best your potential and your best split and then obviously all the sectors there uh, on this uh, side we've got the it's called the channels so you've got your lap time so you there uh, are sectors fuel use uh, then you've got your general so you speed RPM and engine levels and stuff like that and then you've got your throttle stuff so that's all this graph stuff here and then obviously you scroll down you've got fuel you've got all sorts down there uh, and then you have in the bottom right hand corner is a track which will be handy when it comes to qualifying or anything like that if you're in a lobby with lots of people or maybe you just uh, on single people with lots of AI um, you can monitor where they are on the track, where the gaps are, so you can get out and uh, do a quick lap without getting in anyone's way or without anyone getting in your way. And then I have the damage uh, indicators here, so they obviously tell you how much damage the car will have. So I'm going to jump in, I'll do a quick three laps on my own. Uh, with the Janetta, uh, obviously we've got the championship coming up this weekend, so on Sunday the championship will start round one. Uh, at Brands Arch Indy, so be practicing as much as possible with the Janettas. So I'll do a quick, quick three laps for you just to show you the PCAR's profile in action, and it is a handy bit of kit. Uh, if you can see the top right hand corner of the screen, you can see this livery. Hopefully, we're going to have this livery for Team Hamster Racing in the championship. Uh, off we go, as you can see on the screen, you've got all the graphs of the RPM and everything waving about on the screen, so it won't be the fastest of laps because I am trying to look at the screen and drive a car at the same time, trying to explain all the, the motions, as you can see the fuel usage going up and down, from now, a little bubble, there's a head, and by the way we're on Delta Park, as you can probably tell. Normally the uh, little uh, the track monitor comes on during qualifying now, I'm not sure why it's not appeared now, maybe it has, has to load in or something like that, a uh, little wobble there. I'll do a lap, I'll pull over and then we'll see what we've got on the graphs, so just kiss the apex on the other side, oh hitting the rev limiter. Now, 
hopefully for this championship we've been practicing a lot. We we we're quietly confident. The only problem we've had, we've not really seen what the rest of the guys are like. So it's all right. Be quietly confident where you don't know what anyone else is like. Go through the gears. We'll cross the line. Lap two. So there you go. The track's just loaded up. So it must need a lap for the track to load up. And look, now it's it's going over the top. On the graphs, you can see now this second lap is going over the top. What the first lap was like. Oh, it's going to be a bit different because it's a, it was a standard start on the first lap. I locked up going into the old hairpin there, right over the hill. Full throttle now. It's heavy brake. Well, not heavy brake. You go down into second gear. Yeah. Maybe on the right hand side, really a tad why I hit the rev limit again. It's a really scruffy lap, I do apologise for this, it's not the best of laps. But the main aim of the game today was to show you the P Cars profiler. Now, I'll come down straight, I'll ease off now and uh, explain a bit more about the P Cars profile. As you can see, a lot of information thrown at you all at once here. So at the top, you've got your obviously your front graph, so this is going to change because I've lifted off altogether. But on the right hand corner you can see where there's my best time going round now there's me just sat still so there are the times as you can see everything there now we got fuel level I've got 22 presumably litres of fuel in there view is 2.74 so average lap I'm using 1.68 litres of fuel obviously a standard start it will vary a little bit um, Laps left, I've got 13 laps worth of fuel left, which is handy if you've got a race where there is a mandatory uh, pit stop, so you can judge how much l fuel you need. If it does slow you down, having way too much fuel, obviously if you leave it at the uh, default settings, it'll give you 60 laps worth of fuel. As you can see, if I rev the car or just move forward, slam the brake on and there's a brake light. And there's the damage meters, if I hit a wall or something like that, I'll just uh, demonstrate that. It should shoot up. Let's, let's, let's find a wall. I'm sure there's a wall at this nice, end of this nice long straight. Go through the gear, fifth gear. Uh, there, as you cross the line, it confirms the lap, so damage. <coughs> there you go. Damage indicator. They've gone red because... Front left light has been knocked out, so we're just working up a replacement. We'll call you into the pits when it's ready. I think that's at least of my worries, the left light, but... As you can see, at the front, it says engine damage 20%. It, yeah, well, I think it's a percentage it shows you, so 20%, 41%, that'll affect understeer, and it'll be a nightmare driving this thing round any further. And the rest of them, we've got away with it. brake damage and suspension damage, so it's just aero damage that'll cause a problem. As you can see, the lap times just go there. It goes, I think it goes, to have a green or purple. It should be purple, because we know if you know racing, purple is good, is your best. Green is uh, good, and then anything in red, you should be worried about. And you can see it splits it up into different sections, so you got race. If you did qualify, it'll show you qualify, and then it'll show you race section just below that. So this has been P-Cars Profiler. It's such a handy little gizmo to have. You see him in Formula 1 all sat on the pit wall looking at all different telemetries and data and stuff like this. This is basically a dumbed down version of that for P uh, for Project Cars and P-Cars Profiler. Uh, it's free to download. Obviously you could donate to the guy if you feel you want to obviously it's up to you it's up to you he's giving you that option i will put the uh, link to the download in the description below uh if you've enjoyed this video please remember to like subscribe and comment in the comment section below and let me just check one thing though does my wiper still work yes thank god for that yes this coming weekend on sunday the 28th it is the first round of the Genetta GT4 Championship at Brands Hatch Indy from 7 o'clock. I got the times mixed up. It's 7 o'clock. Practice one starts. I will be live streaming. So if you will, if you do want to watch it, come across to my Twitch channel, which I'll also link in the description below at 7 o'clock, and you'll see the entire event, which includes practice, qualifying, and then the 25 lap race. 
So, this has been Debs 151 showing you PCAR's profiler for project cars, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.